Hello everyone, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 Trial of Allegiance. Today we're going to be looking at a Paraguay exclusive achievement, Revenge for the Triple Alliance. Luckily this achievement shouldn't take too long for anybody to achieve if they want to get through it quickly, so let's start off by looking at how you can get it quickly. Sadly, Paraguay isn't available on the list of interesting countries to play, so we're going to have to go find it. Paraguay, Paraguay, Paraguay. The toll of the Chaco War, massive debuffs, and the aftershock of the Triple Alliance, massive debuffs. Sounds like fun. So as always, we start by looking at the achievement itself and looking at the specific requirements, which are pretty straightforward. Um, all we have to do is be at war with Brazil, Argentina, and Uruguay, with our declarations all being within one month of one another. This actually has some pretty easy way of achieving it, because we have complete access to a focus called Beneath the Shadow of the Triple Alliance, which gives us an annex war goal against Brazil and Argentina. That means all we really have to do is declare a manual justification war goal against Uruguay. And funnily enough, things get better from there, because so far as I can tell, you can take any path in this tree to get this achievement. If you want to go suspend the elections and take the Fash path, well, you can justify. If you want to go down the communist path, you can justify. And if you want to go down the democratic path, there is a focus called emergency powers, meaning you can justify on countries with the same ideology, so democratic, and that haven't generated world tension, so Uruguay. No matter what we do, we can get this achievement. That being said, however, I'm probably going to start by going down for river trade, which has the opportunity to give us free sieves. I like free sieves, and so I'm going to go get them. A military coup attempt. Ah, this is the insightful moment where we have to decide whether we're going down the collectivist path or the staying the democratic path. Going democratic will actually give us a civil war. Sure, screw it. Let's have a civil war. What's the worst that can happen, right? It seems we have a decent leader here, brilliant strategist, infantry leader. Sadly, we do start in the toilet for guns, and our units have literally no equipment, so we probably need to fix that one quickly. Request weapons from the United States, yes, that is exactly the focus you should probably take to finish this war. For some reason, unbeknownst to me, the enemy refuses to come attack me across the river, so I've just taken the time to train up my units now that we have guns. Maybe a weird pick, but something I really wanted to get was Spirit of the Academy, to get best of the best, starting level of new army leaders at plus two. We quite literally have no other army leaders, and I would like a field marshal and some friends to help man some front lines. Welcome aboard. Hmm, I think some support artillery could help. So I've actually been stalling out the war, because now that I've got that focus, we can take Goad Bolivia. I have had the option to assassinate <laughs> Rafael Franco, but if I read this correctly, taking Goad Bolivia gives us a war goal against Bolivia, so we can steamroll through Paraguay and straight into Bolivia. Come on Bolivia, join the fun. Your time is now. I assume they're getting all of their units on the border to prepare. Meanwhile, I can start thinking about getting emergency powers. Well, if Bolivia's not going in, I'm going in. Oh, now you're joining me. Now you're joining me. Also, now that we've hired some new army leaders, I think we can swap over to Paul's attack for the extra attack farming. Goodness, it's a slow river to cross, isn't it? It takes its time. They seem to be split between a rock and a hard place. Oh, and it's over. Easy peasy. Something something straight into Bolivia, I think? What's really funny is how much experience we've leveled on these troops just from that one conflict. It appears we've found an opening in the back line, which could give us a free encirclement and to take La Paz. I'm not sure if taking this city is going to be too easy though. I mean, there is a world where the city is undefended and I just walk in. It, it might even be this world. It is entirely possible. Classic Bolivia. So truth be told, it's at this point that you are kind of ready to take on the achievement if you want. Um, the core was that you needed to take the focus of emergency powers. And now, what you really need to do is begin a justification on Uruguay, and make sure that you line up taking the focus, beneath the shadow of the Triple Alliance, around the time that you've completed the 270 day justification, so that you can complete 
the war goal against both of them simultaneously. Well, if the achievement demands that we need to do a mega war, a mega war we shall do. In the interest of saving garrison manpower though, I think I will probably release Bolivia as a puppet. Interestingly, even though we went to war with Bolivia, because we released them as a puppet, we can now improve relations with them and still get the sieve from river trade. Bolivia, you're not joining this war, but I need your troops. Give them all to me. Oh goodness me. Right, okay. Uruguay's justification is done, but remember, it's not when you get the justification, all three wars need to be at the same time. So we still have time to get all the units to the borders and get some preparation done. Ah, and there goes the other two war goals. Well, I guess it's now or never. So, all within the same month. Well, I might as well just do it all on the same day. And for goodness sake, don't call in Bolivia. They're just not going to help us very much. Okay, let's see if we get any green bubbles. Ooh, a mixed bag, but an achievement all the same. Revenge for the Triple Alliance. I guess regardless of what happens now, this will be a win. Huh. Okay, Argentina has folded. Um, yeah, I'd rather not fight a two-front war, if at all possible. The aftershock of the Triple Alliance is gone because Brazil also has folded. The thing is, do we think we could carry on with Brazil? I'm kind of tempted to see. I really don't like the fact that we opened up on two fronts, but... Oh, go on, let's see if we can get Brazil. No promises, though. I still think this is very silly. We seem to have made a breakthrough in the East. I have no idea how much success we're going to get from it though. And now my final trick. <laughs> Join the Allies. Listen, if we were going to get an absolute win from this, maybe the Allies can save us. Oh goodness me, it's going to turn into World War II. Okay, now that is an interesting turn of events. If they've let me in the Allies, screw it. Come save me. As to be expected. And so begins the great French Northern Resistance. Um, let's see how you like a two-front war, Brazil. Wait a second. Those aren't... Oh my goodness. Well, it's good to see that um, the Axis has got its priority straight by bringing their Panzer divisions to Brazil. I was really thinking that the Allies would have convoy raided anybody coming up the Med. Um, I don't even... I didn't even think they could escape. But no, they are quite happily delivering troops <laughs> all the way to Brazil. Remind me never to join the allies again. Just, just remind me, you know? Oh my goodness, the Axis have swarmed the Amazon rainforest. This is GG. Oh god, even the allies are getting encircled out here. What a disaster. Okay, so I was tempted to end the video there, but there were a few things I wanted to talk about before I wrap things up. I think the core thing to take away from this is fighting a two-front war is never a good idea. Um, having some time to prep yourself and go through Bolivia to work on one individual nation is probably going to be a lot better than trying to tackle two and tanking your equipment. I've seen some particularly compelling strategies that involve going through Chile and using it as a front to attack Argentina. That seemed far, far better than just trying to kind of slug it out inside of Paraguay. All in all though, we did get ourselves the achievement and I'm kind of okay with people seeing me fail. I mean, we all fail from time to time. Not every player has the perfect run all the time. And so with that being said, I'll say thank you very much for watching. We're going to be doing some actual completed, positive, successful runs next time. Uh, if you liked, feel free to like, feel free to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Here's an idea, Britain. Why don't you convoy raid the Axis? Isn't that a crazy idea? Wow. Bye.